Welcome back, everybody. Here we're here back with TXP3, and we've had more than three games here today, and we're just gonna have even more. Once again, I'm Matthias, also known as Matthias, and I'm joined by my wonderful co-host Zarin. How you doing, Zarin? Uh, doing good. It's been an interesting day so far. A um, lot of two O's, a lot of uh, stompings, let's say. But uh, I think we're gonna be in for a good one here. We got a really good matchup. Uh, it's gonna be vibes only uh, going up against PenJ all day. A lot of good Canadian CCL representation on these two rosters as well so that's always nice to see and um, I think I think these two teams are pretty evenly matched, and I, and this is going to be for the group here. Yeah, this is going to be it. This is looking to be a very good game. I saw Team Vibe Trap early. That's the first game I casted here mm -hmm. today. They just had an amazing run. I believe that one was the first 2-0 to yeah. kick everything yeah. off, but wow, that was a 2-0 to watch. They were just utterly dominant all the way through. They just had so many interesting tactics they brought to the table. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're a very intelligent team, and uh, they – led by Canadian Neb, who's a pretty common name uh, within the industry, uh, within the scene uh, in Canada, specifically in the Challenger scene. Um, usually in that T32 to T64 range in Challengers. Um, so he's definitely the guy that brings the most experience to this roster. And speaking of um, CCL representation, you have Maz uh, from the University of Waterloo uh, on that team as well. Those are You're looking at those two guys as, as their core two players on that team. Um, and I think they both uh, bring a little bit of a, a different look at the the game and so far it's done wonders for them and well speaking of wonders on the other side it's Penn J all day who just came off of a very convincing uh, victory um, just a bit ago on stream uh, wonders and Twix the two you know core players of that team also CCL players um, Twix formerly of Waterloo and wonders uh, who goes to Brock um, those two have led this team to a current, uh, I believe they're 2-0. Uh, wow. Both teams are 2-0. and um, So they're looking for this uh, this Pool D victory. And, uh, well, best of three again, so yeah. you only need two games to do it. Yeah, but maybe we'll see all three games this time. They're both yeah. going flawless so far. So it's going to be a battle of the Giants going forward. Neither team wants to take an L just yet. So I'm excited to see what ends up happening here especially we're going to be starting off with of course that hard point there it's going to be really interesting to see the difference about how these teams approach the respawn not respawn with s and d and there's so much more pressure when it's this best of flurry like we were talking about earlier mm -hmm. it's really do or die everyone puts at all, have, they're all into these first games yeah we i mean we were literally talking about this just a couple hours ago before the event started the difference between best of threes and best of fives um e extreme and you may not think so but you know with best of fives you take a little bit to get into the series but not quite yet as best of three is underway here on rio hardpoint we got vibe tribe going up against penj all day and a good start right now there's wonders getting first blood yeah wonders and storm zeal getting another kill on there sauce on the side getting one right back two bubble kills on both sides it's an explosive start to the match. Already Vibe Trap got ape. Now it's going to be racked right back up by uh, PenJ all day here. The concuss comes out. A big grenade by JS Twix getting a double kill there. Yeah. Beautiful nade out of Twix. And you start to see Vibe Tribe spawning out towards P3. Storm's just staying down, waiting for any crossers towards the bridge side. So they'll be able to read the pressure on the right side of the map. Here comes the push from Vibe Tribe. Wonders with one. Sauce with two himself. Nice turn and burn there onto Wonder. So good retake right there from Vibe Tribe. Now you see on your mini map, bottom left, they start to work towards the back. Storm's kind of by himself. You see Wonders waiting for those players to push all the way through. They're going to be in engagement here just momentarily. Great observing job from Chugs in the back. Unfortunately, Wonders going to drop, <laughs> and that's going to completely open up the hill for Vibe Tribe to retake. And now, Penj got a lot of work to do. Penj a lot of work to do. Three on this hill. They got a double three king of the hills right now. They go in, gets one, needs to get a second. He gets it, and that's wow. going to be three, and they open it up for themselves, but there's still one left. That's going to be Eris taking one down. Moves in onto the site, but it's still going to be Penj taking this point for now. There's 30 seconds left on the point. Yep, got to get, got another... Got to give another CCL shout out to Aries coming all the way from Ottawa, from Carleton to come play here in Windsor, Ontario. And again, that's another guy that rounds out this roster quite nicely, usually with the submachine gun, sub gun in hand so far doing his thing. Three and three right now. Sauce with a beautiful kill on point, but it won't matter. Penj going to get the scrap time. They're going to start to work their way to the left side of the map. You see player number eight. It's going to be Aries doing the work in the back, waiting for the push out of Storms. Going to get double teamed. So tagged up nice and weak. 
Pen J gets the left side of the map, and now it's going to be basically just a war towards the point. Yeah, and this match is the most even hard point we've seen so far. Both teams neck and neck. Now Vibe Trap getting close to that 50 point, but Pen J going to get back into the lead now. Trade's coming out left and right. So we see they're hunting down one Pen J on the flank, and one's behind them once again. It seems like they're everywhere as Ja Twixt gets two kills. Yeah, I mean, the, this map, uh, very mixy a lot of the time, but you do want to win those back spawns for the P3, make the other team spawn all the way out down below the steps on the opposite side of the map. It just takes so much time for the other team to get to, I mean, the P3 side of the map, plain and simple. And now, if you have control and you have this little time left on the old point, you got control of P4, Penjay doing exactly that. Vibe Tribe able to get the last few seconds and Sauce is frying right now, 10 and seven for him. I mean, not a very <laughs> distant score line, but 10 kills already on the board for him through three hard points. Exactly, but I'm seeing so many more deaths on Vibe Tribe than they've ever encountered before. They can't get these streaks going as easily, especially for the rest of the team. Moz getting one, Jatwix getting them right back. Now Jatwix getting another, but it's gonna be Eris getting one right back. It's just trades on every single side. And now Penje in the lead, Sauce on the side, cannot carry the team on his back. They need to start getting control of these points. It looks like they have it now. They're not too far away, but trades keep coming through on every side. It's just so chaotic. And now we have Aram on the point going down. Looks like Vibe Tribe gonna get a big stretch of points right here. But can they do it? Can they push on through? There's so much pressure from Penje. Your twist gets the point cleared. Yeah, I mean, that's been the story of the map so far. Just absolute mixiness. And I got to assume uh, Neb is sauce on the side. I'm just going to take a wild guess at that one. I will confirm it. But I will assume that is him because right now he's looking like his normal self. And, well, the big reason why Vibe Tribe is currently in the lead. Not by much, but still in the lead as Moz gets to work two-piece uh, towards uh, the old point. And now we go towards P5. 50 seconds left to go. This is a battle for the mid. Storms wins that one with the help of Wonders. Two of them trying to win the battle on bridge. Sliding back and forth. JB able to trade one out. So, again, trades just going back and forth. But right now, it's Vibe Tribe in control of P5 with Twix trying to get to work towards A3. It's a win's game so far, but it's looking like it's Penjay's game as they are about to get right back into the lead right here. Aram on a triple kill spree right now. Someone needs to shut him down. But it looks like there's going to be a stalemate here. Vibe Tribe doesn't want to go in too riskily, but wow, it doesn't check the corner, gets taken down, but it gets traded out by Maz. And now, trade once again. Orange and red is all in the kill feed. Everyone's falling now, but it looks like Penjay has stretched in the lead, but not by much. Yeah, very imp impressive trading out of both these teams right now. They, they've done a fantastic job not letting uh, really any three or four man wipes on either side. So very good Call of Duty being played and, and it's an absolute war and the scoreboard is showing exactly that as Twix tries to get a second player, but that's not gonna happen. So Penjay able to stop the push for now as Wanders sitting down on the vending machine. This is a good spot right here. You, you're able to cover a lot of ground. You force those players to slide out onto you and Wonders picks up another as Moz drops, trying to pinch around the outside. And Penje have an opportunity to pull away from Vibe Tribe. But as I say that, JB slides in, gets one, gets two, looking for the third. No help around him and Twix and Co. will slide on in, pick up some extra time as they still try to battle for the scrap time. But as you see, two players from Vibe Tribe already rotated, a, a third player spawning up. They have complete control of P2, but it's gonna be player number three, Wanders, gonna Gonna have to do some work in the back, but he is alone. Exactly, and now he's alone, but not forgotten here as he's gonna push in onto this point. Two go down, three go down on the side of Penje. That may be the opening vibe drop needs to try and stretch back in the lead. It's not impossible just yet. Aram though, getting wow. a double kill, it's gonna put a wrench into their plans real quick. Moving in on the flank, another one on Penje clears the point once again, and now, they're slowly but sure, surely securing themselves a lead by winning out these team fights time and time again. And he can't get the double, but he does get the key kill there. Yep. Twix, 20 and 12. Great map right now for him with that AR in hand. ARs are very important on this map, despite it being a very SMG heavy map. And Wonders, oh, sorry, right now Twix doing his job as they do pull away a little bit. But this is good scrap time for Vibe Tribe. You need a little bit of time back as we head over towards P3. You already have control. It's going to be a 1v4 on point. So, yeah, down goes Moz. And only nine seconds going to go the way of Vibe Tribe. So, uh, uh, sorry, going to go the way of Pen J. And Vibe Tribe already set up for new. This is a pretty good setup right now. They're going to have to win their ones. And there's the first one coming in. 
have to try the darndest one goes their way but now with a 50 point lead it's gonna be a hard to, a hard gap to close but five drive can flip it on this hard point they can might as well do it make a comeback here but now it's gonna get shut down by storms he moves in but gets taken by my maws and now it's trades left right and center Maz and Eris go in, gets taken down, and skills just funneling in through. It's an absolute war of attrition happening right now, but Vibe Tribe is just barely coming out on top, getting a lot of time on this hard point. Now they need to try and keep this one clear, but it's going to be so hard to do. So they keep funneling in, trades left and right. JBN getting a double kill as well. Yep. Back and forth again, Twix with another two piece. He's on a three looking to get towards that streak a little bit. Wonders with the SMG in hand, gonna shut down Sauce, who started out so hot, but now currently only sitting at 20 and 21. But as, I, as you see, the rest of his team just not able to get uh, the kills necessary. As right now, they're getting outslayed by quite a bit. And uh, I mean, the scoreline showing it. However, they do have control of P4. Storm's looking to work this one by himself. Two players around the point. Good shots out of Storms with three. Swarm and get the kills. And it's going to be Maz sliding in on time from Garage. JB trying to cover up boxes. You see all four players from PenJ trying to hit the back. Here they come through Garage. There's one. No wonder shuts him down too. So Sauce with a sub. Unfavorable position with the rival nine. Going to have to back down. Storms going to have to catch up here. And back Ares as well, just absolute chaos once again towards this P4. And battling for the scrap time is Vibe Tribe. They know they need this extra time as we head into the final hill of the second rotation. Exactly. Vibe Tribe needs all the time they can get, but it looks like that's all the time they can get as it looks like Penjay does secure the trash time. And now this next point is going to be very risky. Penjay could tee themselves up for victory on this next point. But it's all going to be up to Vibe Tribe to play the defense. But with how back and forth this game has been in terms of kills, I don't know if they'll be able to stand strong. I mean, look at that. They already routed the enemy already. Got the sticky grenade on. Oh, he missed it just barely. I thought he landed that one. But no, it's just made by these little snap decisions here. Snap decisions indeed. And... It's going to be a 3v1 around this point. Yeah, Wonder's finally going to drop. Time stays white. 30 seconds left to go. The battle for mid's going to have to ensue here any second as the rotation's back towards P1 for the third time in this game. Going to have to ensue. Vibe Tribe, great control here. Looks like they're going to get the rest of the scrap, but you see Penjay already winning control of mid. Three players towards it. Now they start to work bridge. Aram already work in the back. Going to try to win those spawns, but no. You see how deep Vibe Tribe are spawning out in the top right corner of your mini map. Now, that's going to allow Penji to work their way through, up, and get some time into P5. Storm's just going to play this light corner. Two players going to push his left side. He's just going to back down for now, wait for some help from his teammates. Nerves have to be starting to set in for Penjay. They are locked in, but you know, when you're that much closer to victory, that's when the slip-ups start to happen. So this is going to be the opportunity for Vibe Trap to try and secure this one. But now, with Penjay securing this hard point, they are teed off to be able to possibly win this one as long as they can keep it clear. But maybe it's just not barely enough right now as Vibe Tribe is pushing in. They need to try and contest this one even just for a little bit. And now, when a two gunfights wow. is what you need, Jabian going in doesn't win the last one, but that's going to open it up for his team to go in, try and take some ground here, but he goes down, doesn't check the corner here. And now, with time ticking, things are looking very, very disastrous for Vibe Tribe as Penja is getting so many points right here. Yeah, just, Maz didn't quite clear that corner and unfortunately does drop. He does get two, though. Sauce able to win spawns for next, so... Well, only 17 seconds left needed for Penjay to close this one out and take a 1-0 series lead. But right now, Vibe Tribe with control of the back spawns. They have control of P2, and it's going to be an absolute war towards the front of this P2. And right now, it's going to be Penjay winning those gunfights. Three dead, four dead. Still spawning in the back is going to be Ares, but all alone he is. And this could be very well over. There's the first blood. They need to get rid of Ares, and that'll secure the game. Down he goes, and it's going to be Penjay. If JB can't touch, he does get one. Looking for that second. Trades back and forth. Maz able to get another, but not going to be enough. And it's going to be Penjay taking game number one in one of the more entertaining hard points we've seen so far today. Definitely. That was so close at the beginning of the round. You know, it was very back and forth, neck and neck. But it looked like Penjay just played the objective a little bit better. Got pressing those objective advantages that they did get. And they just kept up the pressure from then on. Got a little advantage. And it ended up stacking all the 
the way to the end. And I mean, look at the scoreline. They got a nice big landslide, not landslide victory, but a nice big lead there by the end of it. Yeah, Twix put on a clinic with that MCW in his hand, 35 and 23. Uh, yeah, great performance from him. And basically his team did the rest, uh, swarming the point. Um, Twix able to, I mean, I think he single-handedly broke like four or five <laughs> points by himself. He was shooting. Um, so that was very nice to see if you're a fan of those boys and, or, or if, even if you're his teammate. Uh, I think you probably like that a little bit more. So good performance think, out of that. Yeah, I think even if you're not a fan, you have to applaud the, yeah. like such entertaining gameplay. Like, I think that was like one of the most entertaining rounds we've had here today with mm -hmm. just how close and back and forth it was. Like, every gunfight was so explosive. It was like double kill after double kill after double kill. It was absolutely absolute insanity it was hard to keep up with sometime but you know that's what we love call of duty for it's just so chaotic so fun 100 percent. and well for vibe tribe a valiant effort um you saw neb off to a crazy good start um just unfortunately couldn't keep it going um it looks like it looked like vibe tribe just really ran out of gas and eventually they just got overpowered towards the end of the game um they were right in it, and they gave themselves a chance to win. Uh, just a couple kills go differently. Perhaps that's a different-looking map. But nevertheless, Penn J with a good performance, a good uh, statement win here in game number one as they look to win a Group D. And, well, they're well on their way. And heading into the Search and Destroy, basically anything can happen. And, <laughs> I know, uh, yeah. Uh, who knows what version of each team we get, but uh, I think – that map or this map will play quite similar uh, as far as closeness. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you right there. I think this next S and D, just basing on how entertaining that last one was, it should be one heck of a game. S and D can already be so close with teams that don't have a, a big. Uh, skill difference or yeah. that do have a big skill difference right uh, they yeah. can still be very close in the snd just the fact that there's no response you know just one or two clean picks can change the entire way the game goes so i have a lot of faith for vibe tribe going into this next one 100 percent, and and i don't necessarily disagree with you i think uh I mean, obviously, the team with the 1-0 advantage, they have a little bit <laughs> yes. of momentum, and, you know, they're closer to securing the, the series win. But for Vibe Tribe, for, for all we know, they could be S&D grinders. And I know exactly. for a fact that, that Nev is, is a guy that does play S&D a lot. So um, I'm going to be looking to him to kind of carry the load for the squad. But uh, realistically, anything can happen in this, and you said it perfectly. I mean, you could have a, a wider, a much wider skill gap um, between two teams and search and strike and basically just completely close it. So we'll see what happens here as we're getting close to loading up for game number two. Um, One thing I do want to watch out for on the side of Vibe Tribe is they do have kind of a uh, hyper carry on the side of the team, which is sauce on the side. He's sh he's shown in almost every single game I've seen him play today. And the problem with S and D is like, if that guy goes down first, the rest of the team has to try and make up that difference even more. Oh yeah. A hundred percent. And uh, we saw that earlier on stream uh, with St. Clair and um, impulsive, you know, a lot of those rounds were decided by first blood. I think Bendy had three or four first bloods and those are basically all the rounds that St. Clair were able to win. <laughs> Um, and on the on the side of Pulsive, it was it was risky getting those first bloods and Wisers as well. So um, they can they can make or break exactly a, a, a search and destroy for some teams. So uh, first bloods super super critical. And obviously once once uh, we know the map, we'll have a better tell of how it's mm -hmm. going to play out. But um, yeah, I mean defensive side on S and D obviously the more favored side, but. Again, we've si we've seen it a couple times on stream already today. Um, you know, if you get those offensive wins, you can start piling them on as well. Um, it doesn't take long to figure out what the other team does generally on defense, so uh, you can you can start to play a little bit more aggressive or a little bit looser uh, on the offensive side. Yeah, that's what I love S and D. There's so much more strategy that goes in it. Not to say there's not strategy in uh, the respawn games, but it's a lot more instinctual once you're in the chaos of it. You might have a plan going in, but you have to be very adaptable on the fly. But S and D, this that adaptability as well, but you kind of go in with a plan beforehand, a really set plan, and hope it works out based on what the enemy is doing, right? And then you go reactive yeah. from there. But you know, to get your men all in their places, watch the chokes, then you go from there. And that's always so entertaining to watch. And especially when people chuck those grenades across the map trying to get those lucky early kills. <laughs> oh, 100%. And well, fist bumps out. We're just about ready to go. And it's going to be invasion, search, and destroy. So very, very defensive heavy map. But again, you can do some interesting things with the bomb on offense. And it looks like it's going to be a very fast B hit 
from the side of Pe of Penjay. First blood does go the way of Maz, though. Aggressive up towards the middle of the map. Pigs off for Vibe Tribe, and they draw first blood. Yeah, they get first blood, and they're off to a good start on the side of Vibe Tribe. They've got to keep watching out, though, as they're being unrelenting, moving in on through, undeterred. But will they lose another one now? It's a 2v3. It's going to be an uphill battle for Penjay. But now, evening out the scoreline, they have a good chance at taking this one, moving in onwards towards this B site. Yeah, really good shots out of A-Ram to even this back up to two aside. That smoke's going to go down. They're trying to break on through, but that player flanking top blue has the freest two kills he might ever have in his <laughs> career. As Vibe Tribe able to win round one, a good defensive win. Maz with three in the round, and yeah, not even looking at him. Great flank out of him. I love the aggression from Vibe Tribe to start off that round as well. Um, able to get up the middle of the map and, and pick one off and just wrap back, play your life. So nicely done out of Vibe Tribe. Good round one win. We'll see if they can build on the momentum here on offense. Yeah, they have the momentum here. They just need to get that offensive win. I think Vibe Tribe will be moving smoothly here from here on out. But now it looks like they're going to take a big push over to the B side as well on the side of Penje. Moving in on through, but now the first kill goes over to Vibe Tribe once again, making a good push to this mid site, laying down a trophy system. They're going to take this one slowly and carefully, but wonders to find one through all the chaos. Yeah, Maz again, aggressive towards the middle of the map. He does have bomb though, so he can't sacrifice his life like he did, but able to catch a player trying to cross his wonders. Oh, Maz! Oh my goodness! Destroys Storms! Does go down, so it is going to be a 1v2. Long range gunfight. Wow. But they managed to get out here. It's a 1v2 for Aram. And now it's a 1v1. He's trying to bring this one back from the brink here. Last alive. Doesn't have ball. Oh, oh my god. And wow. Gets the snipe. Right angle. Right time. And Penche is already back in this. I don't know what he's got on his AR, but he got two of the cleanest kills you will see, especially on this map. Didn't miss a bullet either time <laughs> on those players. Fantastic shots out of Aram, and he is also shooting good right now. He dropped 30 in map number one. Wow, <laughs> some crispy shots. We saw some from Maz to start off that round, and Aram to finish it off with a 1v2. Now on a three streak. Back and forth wow. again. Here we go. Yeah, back and forth. Looks like we're here for a good one. And now it looks like B is the site to push as Aram's leading the charge. Hot off the heels of that amazing win. He's looking to get a kill to start things off. But now a very tense engagement here on the inside around the corner. He peeks the corner and wow, Wonders wins the gunfight. Okay, just absolute insane gunfight so far in this series. Wonders wins another. A little bit stuck. If that player able to get out, I believe that was Twix. Trying to play his life. Wonders not in a good spot here with the SMG. He knows it, so he's going to slide on into the cafe. Twix trying to perhaps work a pinch towards the B side as Bomb's going to get, get actually moved into the cafe. Out onto the A site. Shots going down. Plan. Look at that player. Just spots him in, but huge kill out of Storms. I can't believe Ares actually dropped. More kills going back and forth, and Penjay cleans them up. Just a, wow. a, yeah, a little bit of a, a weird uh, situation there for Ares, but great shots out of Storms, I guess, able to take him out, and well, he does the rest. Yeah, I think it was a great play to really be aggressive with that plant because it forced them. I think they heard the cue. They all rushed in to try and punish that, but he had two Guardians on either side. Every flank watch. Great play by Penje. And now going into this next one, Vibe Tribe needs to answer this one to keep pace. But it's going to be that much tougher to get themselves back in this because they are on the attack. And Penje is just having that momentum swing right now. Yeah, Penje again now on defense. They got that important offense win here on Invasion. Love the aggression from Aram. I'm not sure if he got spotted out there by Neb. He's just trying to work the back. This is a good spot for Aram. He's definitely going to catch Neb off guard, but no. Oh, wow. He actually runs out, almost gets a turn and burn, but Neb takes care of business. <laughs> as uh, that could have that could have gone so much better for Penje um, if Aram just stayed put, but not going to be the case. Yeah, First flanking the flanker. And now Wonder is going to find one crouch, getting the bomb under control. Now it's down to Sauce on the side here to try and save this one from the brink. Yeah, 1v3, 40 seconds. You got to get bomb and you got to plant it. This is one of the tougher situations for Neb to try to 
Get the second round on the board for Five Tribe. Don't think it's gonna happen. Good shots in, but can't complete the kill. And there's that cheeky little spot out of Wonders. Gonna finish him up. And Penjay, up 3-1 now, halfway to victory. Yeah, great start for Penjay. You know, it was really close going into this, but now they're stretching into this lead. I'm having a little bit of flashbacks from that last, <laughs> the last game in this series, you know. It's very close early on, but then once Penjay finds their footing, they really know how to press that advantage. Absolutely. Yep, Penjay look hungry. They look determined. Vibe Tribe right now are going to have to play a little bit of catch up. They do have a defensive side right here for this round so opportunity for them to try to get one back at least but you got to think this is going to be a huge swing round here in round number five as the pressure towards b and a is going to be about a 2-2 split good shots in but again can't finish the kill twix just trying to stay alive for now yeah using the trophy system there trying to stay alive going to rotate back over now we see Ares holding down the lane, but it looks like this is going to be another A push here. It worked out from the last time, so why not run it again? No one has a clear angle on it. Maybe Ares has a decent angle to try and deter them, but otherwise it's going to be tough for Penji to push onto this A site. Yeah, it's he's fixing a good spot. Spots went out, good shots in. JB does fall, Ares as well. And, and down wonders. goes Maz, and well, that was a very quick round for Penjay. <laughs> Offense, defense, doesn't matter for them. They are rolling. They are absolutely rolling. We have to give Wonder some props. He got a double kill to end of the round. Yeah. One, two, buckle his show. He's going to walk on through into the next round. Yeah, they, uh, they're they looking dangerous right now. I, I no, no joke, am very impressed with how well they're actually shooting the gun. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Their aim is on points like yeah, laser beams. <laughs> it, it, it really is. They're, it, like, they're, their bullets are on a rope right now uh, on the heads of Vibe Tribe. So, I mean, they looked really good against uh, GG Supernova just a, a couple hours ago. And they're continuing that, obviously, right now as Wonders with, again, more crispy shots, but not enough. However, Ma is able to trade out Twix. So one for one, not a bad scenario for Vibe Tribe as they start to work the bomb towards B, which they don't know is completely open right now. They could just run it and get it down and play a 3v3 on site, but playing a little bit nervous perhaps, playing a little bit scared, little premature shots out of Twix. So Penj going to have to be a little bit more patient here. I think Aries is going to spot this player out on the flank, so Storm's just going to back down and wait for the time. Going to wait for the timer here. They're moving around very carefully. It's a very dangerous situation for Storm here. He has two people watching that door, but he manages to get a kill with JS Twix there, putting up the pressure. And now, major flank from Aram. Finds the bomb. Can he find the kill? He can. And wow, in synchronicity with his teammate, he takes them both down. Well, <laughs> round number five for Penj. And uh, just all around good coordination as well. Not only, well, look at that. Like, I, within a millisecond of each other. Yeah, I think uh, just great, yeah, overall coordination. That was, I think that was one of the few examples, no offense to Aram, of not so straight shooting, but he <laughs> did have help from a teammate there. So doesn't matter. You got the kill at the end of the day. And Penjay now one round away from securing Group D and the number one seed of their group going into bracket play. Both teams, I believe, already locked in. I'm not sure if Five Tribe and... Uh, GG Supernova have played yet, but nevertheless, wow, it's JB. JB with a nice two-piece, a little bit of help from Neb as well. So good start for Vibe Tribe to get one back, but they got to rip off five in a row. It's going to be a difficult challenge. Be very difficult, even if they secure this one. But I feel like Penjay all day wants to win this one six and one. They want the best scoreline they can, so they're not going to go down without a fight. They want to try and secure some kills. They don't want to let that momentum swing in the way of Vibe Tribe. I mean, look at Storm. He's moving in on through, trying to get the off angle on this team. He's going to see Maz, but he doesn't get the kill. He's got to be very careful about this. Plays ring around the Rosie, but ends up losing, falling down. And now it's all up to JS Twix. That Twix in a 1v3. Good read out of him. Good kill, too. So 1v2 going to get shot from behind. Those players just going to stay down. He didn't see that player across left. Now he does. Twix knows he can just run to bomb. He's got info on both players. He's just going to sprint right to B and get this down. This is such a difficult spot for him uh, to try to win a 1v2. These players can choose to take two different angles. He's got to look two different ways. But he's likely going to go to this back tractor. Exactly, he does. 40 seconds now. It's going to be Twix going up against JB and Canadian Neb. They're both going to start working this B Street, but they, they got to go a little bit fast. Time is dwindling down. 30 seconds left to go. Twix looking to get this one done. 
So time is ticking now. He has to try and lock this one down. Gets good shots. Gets one. Doesn't get the other. And that's going to be Vibe Tribe actually getting another point back in this game. Yeah, valiant effort from Twix. Um... Not sure about the whole jump out. I understand maybe tr trying to get that first kill to ensure the 1v1, but I think he was fine behind that tractor if they elected to do uh, that. Uh, I mean, who knows what happened? It's all hearsay, but uh, <laughs> Neb with the cleanup, 4-6 and six out of him. And uh, Vibe Tribe, they get their second round, so never say never. Yeah, never give up, never back down. And a Vibe Tribe... Maybe needs to get on the vibes. Maybe they're at the right vibe yeah, now. Yeah. They've locked in on this vibe, and hopefully they can vibrate themselves to victory here and go all the way to the end here. They're strong as a tribe, and they're going to be playing together here. Moving in on through. Bullets come through. Doesn't get a kill, though, and it looks like Penj all day is moving in very aggressively. JS Twix gets Ooh. one. JB going to get one right back, and Ma's getting another. Now it's a 1-2-V-3. Yeah, Storms and Aram, last two left alive. Twix having himself a map, but not going to be of any help in this round here. Two players spotted out. Aram cleans it up. Now a 2v2. Bomb is going to go down, so now it's Penjay's turn to try to retake the B bomb site. And again, that player is usually going to play that back track. They're an interesting spot here for JB. They're going to have the they're going to have eyes on the cross completely unless Storms decides to pinch this. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. 30 seconds left to go. They got to start moving a little bit. Start looking for this first blood. They know where the second player is going to be. D JB, oh, somehow stays alive. Wow. He was sitting out in the wide open. Moz gets wow. the first. He gets the second with the nade. And I'm not sure how JB survived that. I'm not sure either. That is insane. Maybe a bullet went through a wall, hit a lower area. I have no idea. And the stick, stick. is insane. Winning the round. And now the scoreline. Not looking impossible. It's looking tough. You got to win two in a row. But to bring it to this tied up point line, it's not looking like an impossible task for Vibe Drive anymore. 100%. And, well, the, and if you're Penj, you know, you get the last two in a row, you get, you know, you start to question just a little bit, <laughs> maybe like 10%, like, okay, can we actually do this or what? It's, it gets to the interesting point. And if Vibe Drive wins this next round, you got to think the momentum is going to be completely in their favor. But they gotta win it first as Maz controlling that mid tank as he has all game so so well too. Eleven kills for him here through eight rounds and well four v four stalemate. Bombs leaning towards A. This is gonna be fast and this could be dangerous for Neb. The wonders working the outside trying to pick up this player. Neb cleans him up. Uh, carb explodes, but somehow Neb stays alive. You see that player? That door's gonna get creaked any second. Twix trying to work mid tank, but two players there for the side of Vibe Tribe. One goes down. Ares drops. Twix trades him back out. Aram again. Now a 2v3. 45 seconds left to go. 1v3. This might be it. JB looking to do the impossible. Trying to control mid tank. Gets tagged up. Good. Just gonna run away, but he is gonna get chased. Wow, and and that'll that's do gonna it. be it. Yeah, yeah Pen J all day, winning all day so far, getting six and three, winning the game and winning the series in a very strong fashion. I mean, Vibe Tribe, they had their moments, but Pen J just had the cleaner gameplay in the end. Oh, absolutely. <clears throat> um, you could see the there were signs of hope for Vibe Tribe in that one. Um, just. Couldn't quite build any momentum, I think, in either game. Uh, it, you know, a little bit of back and forth at the beginning here in the search and destroy, search and destroy. Um, but again, couldn't get on a roll. Couldn't, yeah, just couldn't do what mm -hmm. they did a little bit early on in the pool play. Uh, so unfortunate break for them. But I, I do believe they're now playing for uh, the second seed. Uh, they are guaranteed bracket play, as far as I'm aware. Uh, they're guaranteed bracket play. Um, but they will try to battle for that second seed against GG Supernova, I believe, at some point. Um, I don't, I don't think they've played, so I could be completely wrong. <laughs> um, but I do, I am under the impression that they have not played yet. So um, that'll be a very good match as well. Um, we, we saw a lot of promise out of GG Supernova going up against this Penj team. Mm -hmm. 
um, ultimately, PenJ just looks like the completely dominant team in Group D. For sure, yeah. They were just absolutely dominant. I mean, like, I don't even have any critiques of their gameplay. Like, it was just so clean. Of course, sometimes you miss shots, sometimes wrong angle, wrong time. But out of any everybody we've seen today, I think they've played the cleanest card here today. Absolutely. I mean, at least from what we've seen on stream, and we, we don't know what's going on on the side stations, yeah. but uh, yeah, on stream, PenJ has shown up, and they look they look well-practiced. I know they they have been practicing for weeks leading up to this event, so they are probably the most practiced team coming into this event. Right now, it's showing. They look fantastic. Exactly. So now, with all that being said, we have more COD on the way very soon. These are not just the only games we have in sports. It's TX. P3. We have so many more COD games on the way for you. Do not go anywhere, but we're going to throw it to a very, very quick break before we present you with more COD action.